The hearing of the appeals of Governors Aminu Tambual of Sokoto and Abdullahi Ganduje of Kano states, including four other governors, was suspended by the Supreme Court on Monday. Other governors whose appeals were affected are Emeka Ihedioha of Fimo State, Bala Mohammed of Bauchi, Simon Lalong of Plateau, and Samuel Otom of Benue State. Before the apex court in Abuja suspended the hearing of the governorship appeals from the six states, there was commotion and high noise level in the court. The Supreme Court, as a result, has adjourned till Tuesday the hearing of 13 appeals filed in respect of the governorship tussle in six states. The CGN who presided told us that one of the members has some health issues, uh, has some health issues, and uh, that it was rising so as to be conveyed. And uh, it's possible that the issue could not easily be resolved. So what the court has done is that about 13 appeals of Ojeri that were supposed to come up today have all been moved to tomorrow. None of these appeals for now will lapse by a fraction of time. So hearing them tomorrow is also as good as hearing them today. For the court to be taking about 13 appeals in one day, I think uh, we need to do something about um, how to bring justice nearer the people. Number one, my first suggestion is that the Supreme Court, which currently has about 15 to 16 justices, should be complemented by the full panel, which is about 22, constitutionally, so that when we have a full court, then the, the justices can be sitting in different panels. There are up to three courtrooms here. But for one panel to just be handling about 13 appeals, we are talking of strong political matters. I think uh, the system is a little too hard on the justices of the Supreme Court. By tomorrow, whichever panel that uh, is constituted or reconstituted will take the appeals. So it doesn't matter. It's one Supreme Court. We are expecting seven justices to constitute the panel, and whichever panel we see here tomorrow will take the case. It's as simple as that.